We are going to solve this problem with two ways. It is for AMC American Mathematics Competitions 12A 2013, problem number 8. For each topic, algebra, geometry, number theory, and combinatorics, there are around 40, 50 important ideas. If you want to learn them, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description. So let's solve this. And thanks for subscribing and like my video. So solution one. It says X and Y are distinct non-zero real numbers such that X plus 2 over X equal to Y plus 2 over Y x y equal to what so let's work on the assumption of the problem equal to y plus 2 over y so if we use common denominator left hand side is what x x squared plus 2 right hand side is what y squared plus 2 over y and if we multiply by x y then it will be what? x squared plus 2 over x times xy equal to y squared plus 2 over y times xy. You can cancel x. You can cancel y. So if you multiply, let me answer this. y times this will be what? x squared y plus 2y equal to xy squared plus 2x so when you are working with real numbers it's so much in integers this idea maybe doesn't work but in most of the problem that you are working with real numbers you should take all things to one side to reach zero so here you say okay x squared y plus 2y minus xy squared minus 2x equal to zero so if you consider these two terms we say x, y, x minus y. And these two terms, you factor from 2, it will be y minus x equal to 0. So if you factor from x minus y, it will be x, y. But because here it is, if you consider this, it is negative x minus y. So because we factor from x minus y, it will be negative 2 equal to 0. So product of two things equal to 0. One of them, at least one of them, should be 0. x minus y equal to 0. x y minus 2 equal to 0. So from first one, x equal to y. But in the problem it says x and y are distinct non-zero. They are not equal. So here we reach contradiction and only here we should consider x y equal to 2. And we've solved this problem with first solution. Now, let's solve with second solution. You say x plus 2 over x equal to y plus 2 over y. Suppose it is equal to z. So what can we conclude? The first solution is easier, but second solution is good to you understand how to solve it with another way. Learn different things. So... Here you say, okay, it is z, y plus 2y also equal to z. So here, if we multiply by x, x squared plus 2 equal to what? Equal to xz. So x squared minus xz plus 2 equal to 0. If you do the same way, similarly, here we multiply it by x. And here we multiply by y. It will be y squared plus 2 equal to zy. And then we can say y squared minus yz plus 2 equal to 0. So if you see these two things are similar. So if I consider another polynomial quadratic formula, w squared minus wz plus 2 equal to 0. So the roots are what? For w, for fixed z. So we can say for w, roots are x and y. Here we see. So you can say w squared minus wz plus 2 because the roots are x and y. It will be w minus x, w minus y. And if you product, the, when the roots are x and y, you can write it like this. And the degrees do here, the coefficient here, because it is 1 times w squared, you shouldn't place any number here. And it will be w squared minus w w squared minus wy minus wx 
minus x times minus y plus xy, it will be w squared plus w minus x minus y plus xy. And if you consider these two polynomials, we want to find y, x, y. So x, y is constant term here, is constant term here, equal to 2. So the answer is equal to 2. So we've solved this problem with two solutions. If you had any question about this problem or wanted to learn 50 important formulas in geometry and also the important ideas in other topics, combinatorics, algebra, number theory, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Also, thanks for subscribing and like my videos. You can use my other playlist, Sam for Harvard Math Tournament, MIT, to improve your problem solving. And thanks for watching this video.